What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Two Swim Steve. And in today's video, I'm here to do a story time on how I'm adopted. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and click on that post notification bell. And click on that bell to not miss any movies, because that's all we're doing is movies. And yeah, my life is a movie, so yeah. Um, I was supposed to been do this video, but um, I've been busy lately, you know. But let's get this, let's get this video started. So, <clears throat> oh yeah, before you, before we get started with the video, uh, I want y'all to, uh, Make sure I don't cry, cause I'm gonna cry right with y'all right after this video. It's actually a sad and emotional video. So let's get, let's hop right in it. So it all started when I was 10 years old. I was at daycare at the time. And you know how little kids used to go to daycare? If you don't know that, then I don't know. You just, you feel me? I don't know. You just haven't even went to daycare if you was little. I mean, if you didn't go to daycare then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but for the people that went to daycare, then y'all y'all know y'all know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I was lit this day, you know. I was vibing, you know. I'm always lit, you know. So um, yeah, and my little sister went to daycare with me as well as my big brother. So I always go to daycare together. Um, we got out of daycare at six o'clock, and this day we, you know, it was all you know all fun and all until my mom had came. She was just being weird and strange. She had came in the door to pick us up from daycare, and I don't know. She was just. I don't know what's going on. Just like, in my mind, I was like, what's, what's going on? And she was just looking at me weird. You know, she just gave me that look. And I was like, something about to go down. Like, feel me? Like, whatever she's doing, like, whatever's about to go down, it's about to go down. <laughs> but yeah, so she came to pick us up. And we had gotten in the car to go home. And she stopped at a red light. Well, we stopped at a red light. Um, and we was listening to some. We, we was jamming to something in the back, in the back seat. We was jumping up and down, dancing. <laughs> I remember that. I remember. I remember that. So, yeah. So she had turned on the radio. I'm like, what you? Why you turn on the radio for? And then she said, I have something to tell you. And I was like, what is it? And she said, you adopted. And I was like, what that mean? She ain't tell me. I mean, I said she ain't tell me. She told me what it meant. And right after that, I instantly started crying. But it was. It's crazy, man. I wasn't expecting to be adopted, but you feel me? Like, and I wasn't expecting her to tell me this, uh, like at a young age. But I, if I was her, you know, if I was, in a, and I was a parent, you know, as a parent, you know, you gotta, you know, take care of your kids as long as you can. You feel me? When and then when they grow up, like it's like it's crazy. But yeah, like if I was in her shoes, I would tell, I would tell my kids, um, they adopted you for me at a young age, so they don't have to worry about it all, all the time when they get older, you feel me? So, man, that was a smart, she was smart for that one. So, yeah, then she had told me about my real mom, how my real mom had cancer. She died from drugs. Well, she died from cancer for doing drugs. And I said, where my dad at? She said, she don't know where he at. And I was like, he probably dead too. That's what I was thinking about. But I didn't, but, but like, that's not the whole story. Like I, like when I was little, I wasn't believing her. I didn't believe her, you feel me? So, uh, let me play this. I play songs, guys. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Got it. All right. So yeah. Um, I didn't believe her. Um, and she had told me that the government had told her this. And right after that, I just you know, every day I was crying. I wasn't depressed or nothing, you know. And it was crazy. But she started acting crazy. She started you know, being weird. I don't know. And my mind was like, what's going, what's going to happen to me? You feel me? But yeah, so like when I started getting older, she started, you know, holding grudges and stuff on what I was doing when I was little. I used to lie. Um, it was for real for the lying. I mean, now I started, you know, now when I started getting older, I just started telling the truth because it was no reason for me to lie anymore. Um, that was the biggest grudge she had, but at the same time, she could have just left all that stuff in the past, but she didn't want to. You know, she wanted just to keep, you know, she wanted to just keep putting this stuff in the future. She wanted just to, you know, keep leading it on. I don't know, guys, it's just crazy. So, yeah, she still, you know, she still be holding that grudge. And it's, I don't know, it's weird, but I'm in um, foster care because she tried to kill me two times. I don't know, guys, it's a moment of silence, man. Moment of silence, man, for real. But yeah, um, first time she tried to kill me with was a knife. Um, it was literally right here by my heart. It was, it was a crazy moment for me. And 
my big brother and my little sister, they just looked at her and told her to stop. Um, at least they said something to her, but I was expecting them to pull her off of me and they didn't do that. I had to pull her off of me myself. And good thing, lucky me that I almost died, but I had grabbed and I hurried up and grabbed the knife before it can like, you feel me? I felt the, you know, the, the pointy, the point. <laughs> I don't know, don't get on me in the comments for this though. It was just like pointy, you feel me? That top part, the pointy part, you know, you know what I'm talking about, sharp, you feel me? It's so sharp, uh -uh. but yeah, it was right there by my heart. Um, and I thought it was about to go in and didn't. Like I said, I grabbed the knife and made it, you know, slide on the ground, slide on the ground somewhere. And then she had hit me with, a, um, y'all know that uh, vacuum handle, it was broken though. She had hit me with that and I thought I was bleeding in my head. And yeah, the second time she shot to kill me with was with a gun. Yeah, it's it's crazy, guys. I I shouldn't be having to go through this, and it's crazy. I don't I don't know what was going through her mind about doing this. I mean, it was and that's another thing. It was about his arguments. We used to have a lot of arguments, but I don't like to argue with people. I like to find solutions out of a problem. I'm really a chill and laid back dude for real, for real. I mean, y'all most of y'all know me, you feel me from TikTok. If y'all don't know my TikTok, um, go follow me. It's Too Smooth Steve. Um, it was Headman Steve, but I wanted to have, have a new name for myself. And yeah, so yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, um, it was it was a crazy moment for me. Um, I've been before I went to foster care. I've been to a lot of places. I've been to my cousin's house, and then I went to my brother's, and then I went back to my uncle's. So the first time she tried to kill me, I had a choice to go back or go to the system. Do y'all know what the system is? The system is for is for foster kids or adopted kids, where they go. So then when somebody, like a foster mom or foster dad, or both of them, if they want you, then, then yeah, they want you. But if they don't, cause some, some moms and dads are looking for like youngins, like, um, like, like pre-K at least, like five, five through 10, maybe, I want to say, I would say 10 through 13. I don't know, but they looking for youngins. They're not looking for no 16, 17, 18 year olds. They're not going, you got to be blessed. You feel me? And I'm blessed that I got in a, um, you know, um, my a foster home and, you know, cause I thought nobody was going to take me and they end up, do they end up doing it. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> everything is just good for me. Um, I used to think about it all the time what she did to me. I only talked to my mom two times and I blocked her, I cut her off. And yeah, um, our whole family just departure, you feel me? Just, just gone, you feel me? I mean, I talk to my little sister sometimes. Um, my big brother, he be busy, so I don't really talk to him. My other brother, he he cut everybody off. It's, whole family is like splitting apart, you feel me? Like, but you know, I'm still living my best life, you feel me? I'm still going crazy, you know? Still blowing up, you know? Yeah, so. <clears throat> yeah, so yeah, back to the story. I had a chance to go back or to the system. Um, I didn't want to go to the system. I didn't, I didn't trust it. I didn't, I didn't want. I just didn't want to go. I was, you know, I was scared what was gonna happen to me, and it was, it was crazy, guys. I mean, I don't know, but yeah, I was 16, I think, when all this stuff happened, and it happened all in July. Yeah, I was. Oh yeah, I was 16 though. So yeah, um. My, Cause I was at my uncle's house at the time, and he was telling me this when he sat me down, and I was like, I don't want to go to the system, but I just want to, you know, stay here. I didn't want to go back from. I mean, I did want to go back for my family, yeah, cause I loved them. But at the same time, I just wanted to go back for my friends. To be honest, I didn't. I just didn't want to go. <clears throat> Hold on, guys, I gotta change the music. I don't. I don't know, man. I'm about to find somebody that had, know how to edit videos, cause um, I'm almost done with this video, guys. But yeah. Find somebody how to edit videos, cause <laughs> you feel me? I don't know how to edit videos, guys. I'm about to, you know, look something up. But yeah. So yeah, um, I didn't go back. Um, I stayed and then everything started happening. That's when the second time had happened. And she the scariest thing she told me was don't go to bed. That was I was like, Yeah, that's the last straw. I gotta leave. You know, I gotta leave this house on God, but on gang, man. I <laughs> had to leave man i couldn't i couldn't do it no more man it's like you know what i gotta i gotta slide you feel me i've been um, to three foster homes now this is my third foster home 
Um, a lot of stuff was going on in them second foster homes. Um, I don't want to explain that, um, but just know that I'm capable of being, you know, gr good. I was about to say great, but good and great. I'm, you know, I'm both of them things. So, like I said, I got a lot going on anyway. So, yeah. <clears throat> and she was my biggest motivation, you feel me? Um, but at the same time, it's like, it was just a lot of stuff going on, you know. She, you know, she taught me everything, you know, how to be a man, you know, how to treat women good. <laughs> I'm dead. But yeah, yeah, she, you know, she taught me everything for real, for real, you know. But I wasn't expecting her to do this. And if I felt like she had cancer and I felt like that she started to change up, you know. You, you know, you still could have been there for me. You know, you still could have did a lot of stuff for me. She have done a lot of stuff for me, but not really. Nah. Maybe because of my bad behavior when I was little, but now I'm a goody goody for me. I've been a goody goody ever since my situations in the past. Um, you know, bad kids can't get anywhere if, you know, if you want to do stupid stuff and I did do stupid stuff and I didn't mean it. But at the same time, you still, you still can't be holding grudges over and over. You feel me? You can't be doing all that. But yeah, but there was no reason for her to try to kill me two times. Like, you could have did something else. You could have, you know, could have talked it out, you know. She even was supposed to get help. She didn't want to get help. Um, she lied to her whole family. You know, she even lied to her own mom, you know. No, we're not, I'm not exposing my mom or nothing. I'm just, you feel me? Just telling y'all how I'm adopted and what was going on in my life. I was gonna do a video on where I'm at, where I'm at now. I was gonna do that, but my, my bad, guys. I'm, <clears throat> my my voice is messing up and I'm stuttering a lot. Sorry, guys. <laughs> New to this YouTube stuff, man. You been? <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's you know going on in my life, especially that situation, you know. And I told my friends, if you hack my life, you don't want to kill yourself. Um, I wasn't, in, I wasn't, you know, intentionally or mentally or physically trying to kill myself. I wasn't thinking about that at all. I had a, you know, I got a, I got a big future for myself. You know, I got a lot of stuff going on, like I said before. And, you know, we gonna keep going. You know, we gonna keep going crazy, fam. That's, yes sir, we gonna keep going crazy. Everybody asking me why I don't do the, um, why I do the same dances as everybody on the, on TikTok. I, I like to do my own thing, you feel me? I'm a different breed. People don't believe me when I say that. Well, now y'all know, you feel me? Like I said, all we doing is making movies, you feel me? If you don't know now, now you know now. <laughs> now you know. I was about to say, now you know. But yeah, y'all get, get what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, so, like I said, she was my biggest motivation, you feel me? Um, she, um, she, like I said, she, she, she didn't, like I said, she didn't go get help. She didn't want it. She didn't care. Um, it's just like, you know. A person that you really love and i thought she was my real mom and she gave me birth it's like wow you feel me it's like it's crazy <clears throat> man i don't know guys um this is like this is a lot to explain you feel me but like i said i'm in good hands now um for the people that's out there you know desperate sad um thinking about killing yourselves don't do it it's no point you know, just think about something else. Get help. Get help if you need it. There's plenty of websites or numbers out there that you can um, call or look up to get help. And if you need it, just go out and get it. I wish I had websites or something to help y'all with. You know, I will put it in my dis description box below. But I ain't got no boxes. But, I mean, no box. I said boxes. I ain't got no websites or, yeah, numbers. I w that, would, that would be helpful i wish i could you know this but plenty y'all can look up you know there's plenty of them you know stuff on tv i don't even watch tv no more <laughs> i don't even watch tv i usually be outside for real for or i'll be on my uh roku you feel me that's what i'll be on maybe ps4 i don't play on ps4 like that i don't play on the game but yeah um like i said i wasn't expecting her to do all this and it's it's crazy you know devastating and I used to think my mom was alive all the time. I used to look outside and think she was out there. It was weird. And I used to cry in the blinds. It's like, you feel me? I don't know. And 
I wasn't really I wasn't really a bad kid, guys. Like, for real, I wasn't really a bad kid. But at the same time, I had to, you know, respect respect her at all times. And yeah, um, I wasn't thinking about killing her. I wasn't thinking about doing nothing to her. And this she this was she wanted to do. This was her actions. You know, um, I called the cops the second time. Uh, she said she was gonna go get her gun upstairs and kill me. Uh, I ran outside. Well, I went downstairs to get my Crocs. It was dark. I slipped, I almost slipped on the stairs. She ran as fast as she can to go get her gun. And I ran outside. I grabbed my Crocs. Um, I ran upstairs, I almost slipped again. <laughs> and then I heard ran outside and I uh, called the cops on her. And the cops didn't even do anything. You know, the cops, cause the first time um, sorry for the mix-up, guys, but yeah, the first time, me and my brother, because my brother had came outside with me, she was like, why are you going outside with him? He said, because that's my little brother. I'm not going to leave him out here, you feel me? Because I, I could have died that day, you know, by myself out there, sleeping on somebody grass, you know, at 12 o'clock at night. It, it shouldn't be like that, you feel me? We should be a happy family, you know? We should be loving each other, and I guess that wasn't the case. At, at first it was, but... It wasn't the case right after that, and yeah. So yeah, we was walking outside, and you know, I was telling him, he was telling me, you know, everything's gonna be okay. You feel me? So yeah, you know, we was stopping back to the house, and then before we stopped back to the house, we seen the cops, and I was barefooted. So uh, they were supposed to arrest us. We was about to, we was about to get arrested, yeah, because we were supposed to be out there. Curfew was at twelve o'clock, but people never listened to the curfew. Rule, people still be outside at night. Me, no, nah, I used to be inside like 10 or 11. But <clears throat> yeah, so they had asked if I was out here and I told them the whole story about how my mom was trying to kill me. And they said where your house is and they took us back. But my thing is, I was like, is you gonna arrest her? And they was like, no, nah, we can't do that. What you mean you can't do that? My mom tried to kill me. What the heck? She tried to kill me with a whole knife. Is you kidding me? That's I was so pissed, bro. I don't know. I want her to get arrested, like literally. I want her to get arrested, and that wasn't the case. But it is what it is, guys. I mean, can't do nothing about it. You know, they're not gonna listen to no sixteen-year-old. You know, cops out there, they're not gonna listen. They don't care what you say. You feel me? So, <clears throat> and like I said, I mean, I don't know. I didn't even say it. the only reason they're not gonna arrest her is because. She, you know, she adopt, she and my adopted parent, and you know, and my thing is they making money for us because if they taking care of us, but at the same time, ain't that our money too? That's what I'm saying. But she used to make five hundred dollars from me. Five hundred dollars? That's a lot of money. But at the same time, can't do nothing about it. Like I said, it is what it is, and you know, you gotta continue life the best you can. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah. Um. <clears throat> Uh, they had came in the house and they was talking to her and she said her side of the story. Um, most of that stuff wasn't even true. Um, she, um, not she, oh, the, the lady cop had came in the room talking about don't disrespect her or nothing. Don't be rude. Just trying to be on her side. You feel me? Like I said, she the adopted parent, you know, they gonna always, they gonna always, um, make sure that they are right, not us. They don't care for me. And every time when she tried to do something to me, she um, they would I would, um, what's call it? She had called her. She had called, cause she there's plenty of times that she called the cops on me. She had called. She would call the cops, and they would um say if they if you like or if you in harm or danger, call me, or call this number. I remember the number. I think it was six one one kids. I don't know if that was the number. It was probably another number. I don't remember the number though, but it's probably that. It was probably that number though. But yeah, that's the Children Family Services number. I remember. So yeah, um, you know, and I was like, all right, she she never did anything right after that second time she killed me because I had left right after that. So, um, <clears throat> right after that second time, uh, she had lied and said that I went to go get my. I mean, I went to go stand. Well, no, no, she said. My bad, guys. She had said that I stayed on the stairs until he ran outside. I don't. I was not. I don't even have a gun in the house. That's a lie. She got a gun in the house. She just didn't want to tell them. My thing is, they didn't have a warrant to go check the house, and if they did, yeah, they would have. They would have found that gun. She. She had a gun in there, guys. 
Because she would have never went upstairs. Now you're making an excuse so you won't get in trouble. I mean, you was already in trouble anyway. Like, that's it's tough serious, guys. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, she, like, that just really blew me. How she just gonna lie and say that. Like, like who is this lady? Like, <laughs> you over here calling me a liar, but you just lied about that. You wouldn't just say all this stuff. And then, um, she used to always, like, she always saying, like, I'm gonna make your life miserable and say, like, oh, you're not gonna be nothing in the world or you're not gonna, you know, make it out in the real world. Your dreams will never come true. That stuff, feel me? That stuff making me stronger every day, you know? Haters say this all the time. Get a lot of hating comments and all. I don't care what people say about me. Make me stronger every day, you feel me? Like, I just, I just work every day. I don't take no days off. So, for the people that got hate on me, I don't care. I hate them and all y'all want, but y'all not doing what I'm doing. Y'all not grinding like how I'm grinding. Y'all taking time off. I'm still going. So, yeah. Yeah. My biggest motivation has said that, you know. I ain't scared of nobody but God. Um, she's, she's, she used to think I was afraid of her. I told her to her face, I'm not afraid of nobody. I'm afraid of, I'm afraid of God, though. Why should I be afraid of anybody? Why should I, yeah, why should I be afraid of anybody? Uh, I, I'm not. Don't nobody fear me, but God. That's the only. That's the only person. But yeah. Um. <clears throat> so right after that, uh, the cops had said, "Did you want to leave or you want to stay?" I said, "I'm leaving." They just, and I and I told them, um, "Am I going to the system?" They're like, "Yeah," but it wasn't a system. It was children, children family services. Um, I stayed there for one night and then. I got in that first foster home, and then I went to a second one, and then I went to a third one. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna explain none of that. It's it's all stupid stuff, you know. I might well, I might as well. The first foster home, he was, you know, he was good. Um, um, he used to take my phone because I <laughs> wouldn't wake up for school because I was going to sleep because the teachers used to talk too much, and it was like, you know what, I'm not doing it no more. So. He took my phone, and then I, and then it was just one day I was telling him I was apologizing to him, you know, and I finished my schoolwork too, and then um, I seen my phone, and I, and then, and I was like, what did I say? I said that you lied about saying I could get my phone back. And he had got it. Was like, you can't tell me what I can and cannot do. So at that point, I was like, all right, that's just a hell, all right, because I'm not about to argue. For me, like I said, I don't argue. I find solutions. I have a problem, you know. I don't know why people, I and mean, people be saying it takes two people to start an argument. No, it doesn't, it only take one. It's the person who started it the first time. So you can't just say that it takes two. No, it doesn't, it only takes one. But yeah, Um. so he had got up and I remember seeing my phone on the table and I started looking at my phone and he started looking at it too. So. I try to grab it. He over there scratching me and stuff, trying to pull me away from my phone. I'm like, it's my phone, and I grabbed it. I didn't push him. I just, you know, <clears throat> our hands was, you know, hands were stuck together, and I was, you know, trying to make him like get off my hands because his hands was like on me. And I was trying to make like move, like move his hands out of my uh, way, and he almost grabbed my phone and slammed it on the table, trying to crack my phone. And I grabbed it and he said, I'm calling the cops, you about to get out of here. I didn't get it out of there until like two days later. And yeah, so, <clears throat> um, second time, I let my friend in the house and my foster dad said, don't let nobody in, but it was my friend, friend Mar. Y'all probably know him. Um, he used to, uh, I, used to, I used to, well, I probably don't follow him on Instagram. Um, what's his Instagram? Mar for Glizzy. Yeah, it's Mar. It's, go follow Mar for Glizzy, man. Y'all know, y'all know. Mar and it's a four and then G L I Z Z Y. That's my boy, man. I still, you know, we still talk to this day, man. That's my boy. But I let him in the house. It's my you know, foster brother. I let him in the house. And then my foster dad, John, he had, you know, got mad and it's like, why you let him in the house? I'm like, because he lives here and I was not gonna leave him out there. And he's like, so. Um, you should have never did that. And he said, oh, you gonna leave, you leaving today, pack your bags. I didn't leave today. I mean, I didn't leave that. I mean, I didn't leave after that day. Um, I left right after that day. 
when he said I was gonna leave and I had to pack my bags and all it was too much. <laughs> but yeah, so the third part of home, um it's a, you know, it's cool, you know. I'll be chilling over here. It's lit, you know, sometimes. Um I'm just having fun, you know, living my best life for real, for real. And I mean shit. I don't even mean to say that, but <laughs> but yeah. The little kids that's watching on my back, guys. But yeah. Um <clears throat> yeah, so I'm living, like I said, I'm living my best life. Um, I'm just, you know, having fun. Um, just living, you know, living young, man. Can't wait to be 18. So, yeah, I mean, this is the, this, so I'm guessing this is the video for real, for real, guys. And yeah, so I hope y'all like this video. This is, um, this is a sad video. I'm gonna play that right now. So, sorry guys, I had to play these songs. But yeah, like I said, this is the video. Like I said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click on that post notification bell for uh, you know, for more movies, man. Cause that's all we doing. We grinding, you know. Uh, we ain't taking no time off, like I said before. And yeah, you know, um, it was a time that they, my caseworkers, I said, my caseworker, you, you wanted to do a visit with my mom. You already know I said no. I don't talk to my mom no more. Like I said, you know. Um, I'm gonna just keep doing me, you know, keep dancing. Um, uh, focus on school, my last year for um, high school. Um, maybe go to college, I don't know. I got, like I said, I got a lot of stuff that's going on. Um, TikTok should already be paying me, but, and I should already hit a million followers already. But it's all, it's all good, man. We gonna get to that dream, man. My dream, my goal, a million followers, man. Let's get started. And on Instagram, guys. So I'm gonna leave my, um, I'm gonna leave everything in the description box below. Make sure y'all go follow my Instagram and TikTok and share this with everybody guys man you feel me we're gonna do some more we're gonna have some vlogs um we got a lot of we got a lot of pranks that's coming to this channel <laughs> and we're, gonna, we're gonna be lit man so i love y'all man keep your heads up um like i said if y'all going through stuff you know i'm here for y'all no matter what and you know just keep you know just keep believing in your dreams um, don't let nobody uh, tell you what you can and cannot do because you can do it. I believe that you can do it and just stay strong, you know, because I'm staying strong too, you know. That doesn't mean, you know, just because I'm happy doesn't mean I'm not going through it. I'm not going through nothing right now, but if I was, then I would tell y'all, you know, I'll tell y'all everything and I basically did. I just told y'all my whole life story. It's not the, my whole life story, you feel me? I like to have fun, I like to travel, you feel me? Like I said, I'm just a laid back, chilling person. I just be chilling the vibe, you feel me? Yeah, on game. <laughs> so like I said, man, um, like I said, keep y'all heads up and just keep doing y'all, you feel me? Keep doing y'all. Don't be no, if you want to be like somebody, if you have an idol in the world, be like them, you feel me? I did say don't be nobody, but <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Because I got a lot of idols out here, you know? I meet fans every day and I'm glad I meet them. And I hope, uh, hopefully I get fans on here too, you feel me? So subscribe, man. Road to 100 followers. No, I said followers. Road to, no, not 100. Road to 1K subscribers. Yeah. So, get me there, man. All right, guys. Uh, make sure y'all comment Headband Gang. I said Headband Gang. Not Headband Gang. Too Smooth Gang. See, man, it's my old name. Make sure y'all comment Too Smooth Gang. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. I'm already missing my name, guys. I swear to God. So, make sure y'all comment Too Smooth Gang, all right? Because we too smooth out here. So, yeah, and more movies coming soon. And so, like I said, let's let's keep it going, man. Let's keep grinding. You feel me? All right, guys. Y'all have a nice day, and I love y'all, man. Peace.